Y'all been asking me all these shady ass questions. How you travel so much? What do you really do? Bitch, I'm at home playing fetch by a swimming pool. All right, so boom. Hey, you guys, it's Papa. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't said that in so long. Like, welcome back to my channel. Like, y'all, let me tell y'all, like, I've been going through it, like, you know what it is? I feel like when I first started YouTube, I had really nobody to talk to like that. Like, I didn't really have friends like that. My, like, family, I didn't really talk to like that about things. So, it was like, when I got in front of the camera, it was like, yo, let me tell y'all because bitches in the street don't want to hear this. Like, people in the street don't want to hear this. My friends don't want to hear this. But let me tell y'all. And I feel like now I'm refining that space where... And there's no shade for none of my friends or anything, but I'm really finding that space where, like, I don't want to talk to my friends about stuff. Or not even my friends. Honestly, because I live in L.A. now, so it's like, I don't really have friends out here. So I think that's what it is. Like, it's like all my friends are in New York or in other places. I mean, I have some friends out here, but not really. And it's like, I feel like I'm revisiting that space of, like, talking to a camera again and really telling not y'all my problems but shit that I went through because it's like the way I talk and the way I explain things like I feel like nobody but me I don't know I feel like I have common sense but I guess it comes across like nobody but me understands me and I think when people watch my videos they're like not just and I really feel you too and we used to just cut up in the comments and it used to just be so much fun and I think like I said that's why I'm coming back because I feel like I'm in that space again where I'm just like alright let me tell y'all because these bitches out here is dumb and bitches have like a warped way of thinking like let me really be real and really be honest and really tell y'all like so we back with the shit for me like common sense isn't as common as i thought it was when it comes to people that i run across to so i don't know if it was like that i couldn't relate to anybody but you know i just know i wasn't crazy and when i first started youtube i'm like yo let me tell you the story because i know i'm not bugging like why she did this then a third you know that means this then a third so that's why i did this then a third and i feel like i feel like youtube was the easiest outlet to express that and get that out and other people like feel me and even if they didn't feel me hear my point of view without I guess like interruption without like like literally listening to me like you gotta listen to me and if you disagree pause the video like type shit so you know and then maybe when you let me finish you'll be on my side after a while you know so whatever that was the mindset that I was in when I first started YouTube and I feel like now I'm revisiting that mindset because like you know I'm out here in LA I don't have no friends out here like literally out here alone with me and my dog like playing fetch by a swimming pool this is my dog oh I got a new dog for y'all who didn't know, his name is Million. Million, say hi. This is how he likes to like sleep on me. He doesn't like to like cuddle like a normal dog. He likes to like lay his whole long body on me like this. So it's just like, I feel like now I'm kind of in a free space and in a safe space, I feel like, to express myself. I feel like, you know, I was dealing with a lot with friends. I was in a lot with, you know, relationships. Not saying that I, I, I got boyfriends or anything, but, you know, just romantic interests, I guess we'll call it that. Um, you know, and having to process all those things. I have my mom and I have my brother and I'm grateful for the family that I do have, but I'm really out here alone. And I don't have no obligations to anybody to be scared to record like I was you know, from the time I was started on YouTube till now. The times that I've taken breaks were because I didn't want to seem like I talked too much. Like, that's one aspect of it. I didn't want to seem like I talked too much. Or if I went through something with a friend or something, like, oh my God, like, this friend is going to be so upset that I said this, that, and third. Like, you know, like, I, it's basically taking consideration into other people's feelings. And I feel like now I'm in a space where I've realized that that's only hurting myself when... I gotta sit there and censor myself and, and hold myself back because I care about somebody else or I care about somebody else's feelings. Like, I really think I'm on a fuck that type of attitude now. And that's how I was when I first started YouTube. Like, yo, let me tell you this story and I don't care how nobody felt. Like, but you know, as you get older, you're not as reckless. You think more about things and you think before you talk and blah, blah, blah. All the boring adult shit that you go through. But, 
Um, I'm excited to be back, nonetheless. Like, if my voice sounds a little different, I'm like under the weather a little bit. So it's alright though. I'm gonna push through it. Um, what else? I don't know what else to talk about. So I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me questions because I feel like I wanted to do a comeback video. And really, like, address everything so that we could just hit the ground running. And I could just tell y'all story times. We could start vlogging. I've been traveling so much. Y'all been asking me all these shady ass questions. How you travel so much? What do you really do? Bitch, I'm at home playing fetch by a swimming pool. <laughs> nah, but for real though. Like, literally. Like, when JT said that, I felt that. Yeah, we just gonna jump into that. I'm trying to think of anything else I want to tell y'all before... I'm going to these questions. Um, what do I want to tell y'all? <laughs> okay, I'll do like a little mini update, and then as we go on through the questions, it'll get more specific. But um, the last time I was on YouTube, I actually was out here in LA. The last story time I recorded was me being out here in LA, and I was staying with a friend. I was staying with a couple friends, honestly. Not that I was homeless or anything, because I could have easily went back to my mom's house, but I was trying to see if LA was the move for me around this time last year. Well, not this time last year. Maybe, like, from May to, like... No, maybe, like, June to, like... I want to say maybe like November, December or on the holidays area. I was trying to see if LA was the move for me. And honestly, like <laughs> my friend Tati make fun of me. Well, she don't make fun of me, but she did like was telling me like, don't let these people run you out of LA. But they ran me out of LA, child, because I'm just a person where I just basically I've been through a lot of my life where I, I didn't have peace. I was tormented like every day of my life type shit like growing up to like I mean like tormented terrorized every day like peace for me I've been just been through so much like family friends outside stuff living in New York like peace I never really fully found peace I never was like a, a person who had peace and like can lay down comfortably and not wake up with anxiety every day at a small age so now I'm at a place where peace is my priority like over money, over like situations, over parties, over being outside, over being seen, over looking the flyers, over and I'm still fly. That's a let's let's not get that mixed up. But I'm just saying like my peace means more than taking pictures every day or like stressing myself out to record or like just doing things that are stressful, which is a gift and a curse because it's like it causes me to be very complacent and stagnant because I'm like, I'm not doing anything, what? Like, girl, mm-mm. But I'm not, I'm not going here. That's how I party, like. Which is a good thing because it saves me, it dodges me a lot of bullets when it comes to, like, guys and, like, you know, stupid hoes out in the street, in the club, or, like, potential friends, you know what I'm saying? But it also, like, keeps me stagnant as far as, like, not doing what I have to do to put myself out there. So, you know, it's just a battle that I think I'm going through in my mid-20s of just, like, trying to figure things out. And figuring out what's worth it and what's not worth it, and et cetera, et cetera. So, I feel like in L.A., back to the point, y'all, because I could go on a tangent. Y'all already know I talk to talk. Like, but um, in L.A., not for nothing, I was just going through a lot where... It didn't make sense. I was miserable out here. I remember I just called my mother crying one time. Like, just, I mean, obviously I was drunk, so that was just another thing. But I was drunk and I was just crying like, Ma, like, I can't lie to her. And my mother was like, You get on a plane right now and you get home, like, right now, like, right now. And that's what I ended up doing. Like, I just, like, literally after that, I booked a flight and I went home and I, and I didn't look at LA until I was in a different space in my life, which I'm excited to talk to you guys about because it's such a more positive space. So I was in LA from like maybe June, July to like November, December. I came back here, I moved here in August, in the middle of August. So when I left in December, so from December to like, I guess, yeah, like, I guess August, I was in New York the whole time. I had to weed out a lot of things, a lot of friends, a lot of guys, a lot of, you know, family stuff. Like, just, like, really getting myself together and prioritizing myself and doing what I had to do for myself. And, you know, throughout that time, it worked. It brought me to 
LA. Now, LA is a different beast. Like, I don't know if I like LA. I might leave. Um, full transparency. My lease is up in November, so I don't know if I'm gonna stay or if I'ma go. I don't know. But, um, I might move back to Miami. I left Miami because I was just bored in Miami. Also, I was also very alone there. Like, at least here I have, like, little YouTube friends and little internet friends, but that's just all they are. And I lay, I mean, in Miami, I didn't even have that. Um, but I do, I, I do feel like LA is very far and, you know, I do miss the East Coast sometimes, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Everything is a, I'm giving everything a chance. I'm, I'm literally, y'all finding me in the most awkward stage. Like, I'm in my mid-20s. Like, I'm trying to figure everything out. Like, what is going on? Like, I did put on a little weight. So, uh, to, according to that, so if we're going to talk about that, I did put on a little weight, and I'm getting my body done again. I cannot, 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 cannot wait to, like, vlog this experience again. I'm doing it a second time. Now, I don't know if I told y'all, I don't know if I said this in a video because I wanted to keep everything cute, but I remember telling my friends, like, I don't care if I'm 500 pounds. I would never in my life go through this process again because it was just so painful and when i say painful i don't mean the actual surgery itself i mean the recovery process and the drains and the it was just so time consuming like you literally cannot do anything like i understand why celebrities go on their hiatus when they do because it's just like you can't even function like it's too much like but um i am doing it again um, I did gain some weight, you know, I got my surgery, it will be a year, it's been a year and a half, um, when I do get it again, it will be like a year and 11 months, so it will be almost two years, um, I'm doing lipo and just regular lipo, going to the same doctor, Dr. David Shakorian. love him, love him, love him, so talented, like, so gifted, like, blesses people, like, Cannot wait to go back to him. Um, and I'm going to be vlogging all of that too. So that's like another reason why I really want to get back. Like I want to show y'all that side of me again. Because I feel like I was having fun with that. And it would be fun to do it again. Like another brown too. Like you know. Honestly y'all know me. I'm an open book when I want to be. And when I'm not, I'm not. That's the thing. Like y'all get hot and cold with me. Like it's not like I'm going to be on here fronting on y'all. Fronting for y'all. Like mm, I mean you know I do my little. I keep my little you know skeletons in my closet. But. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna be fronting for y'all, like, you know, but if I am on here, I'm open, I'm honest, and that's why I'm here. So, we're doing that, and with that being said, let's just get into the questions, like, let's talk about everything, like, are you back on YouTube for good? Yes, yes, I'm back on YouTube for good, like, twice a week, posting twice a week, I'm not playing, even if it's something like, even if it doesn't, because my thing was like, I don't want to post videos and they don't get views and then my channel looks crazy, like, blah, 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 blah. But even if they don't do good, and even if it's just me talking, even if it's a just get ready with me, even if it's a vlog on what I did today, twice a week. What do you do for a living that you don't do YouTube? I told y'all I'd be at home playing fetch by a swimming pool with my dog. You hear him? You hear him, right? We be playing fetch by the swimming pool upstairs. <laughs> All right, he's gonna be annoying. What made you move to LA? When I went back to New York or whatever after LA, I was like, do I want to stay in New York? Do I want to move back to Miami? Do I want to try LA again? And I feel like I was just in a better space to go back to LA. Um, I wasn't talking to the same kind of people anymore. I wasn't around the same kind of crowd anymore. And I felt like, um, honestly, the living, the cost of living in LA, you get more for your money than you do in New York. Like, I live in a luxury building, I have three pools, like, I live on the 22nd floor of my building. Um, you know, I really like it. I really like it a lot. And it's not affordable, honestly, but it's better than New York. Like, what I'm paying here, I would never get in New York. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why. And then I kind of wanted to get back on YouTube and I thought LA would be like the push that I needed to be like, okay, like do your YouTube thing because there's a lot of YouTubers in LA and blah, 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 blah. But honestly, that's the last thing that has me back on YouTube, being in LA. But um, yeah, that's why I'm going to LA. How do you feel about Zeus Network? They need to have me on there. Like at first, I used to be like, I'm not doing that because what? But Zeus was really doing a thing. But the thing is, this is my thing. I talk about this all the time. If y'all quit, if y'all catch my lies, well not all the time, but if y'all catch my lies that I did talk about this, girl, 
First of all, I would need my check. Like, that's number one. Because y'all not gonna pay me the little bit of money that y'all paying these boys that I get on my channel. And, and that I get in general, anyway. So, it's just like, I need my money. Number two, if I go, like, let's say it was like a bad boys club type of situation. I'm not bringing none of my clothes, bitch. I'm going on Fashion Nova. I'm doing me like a $500 little, like, haul. Getting all my little cute shirts. My cute jeans. I'll probably bring my sneakers, though. Do my big one. Bring my little sneakers. Bring my sunglasses, maybe. But my clothes? No. So, y'all can throw my clothes. And mm, 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 mm. I'm not dealing with them boy, dumb kind of boys. And the room situation needs to already be set up for me. Because I'm not fighting nobody over no bad. I could go home. No shit. You see, that's why I feel like I can't do no bad, bad boy stuff. Like, why would I sleep on... A couch or like cuz you know how they be trying to play them like why would I sleep on a couch or a blow-up mattress or a twin-size mattress to be on TV like to be on a network and let's not even say TV a streaming service why would I like I don't understand like when I could go home and I could relax this is what I mean about maybe my peace like be getting in the way of like you know my success in a way because it's like in my head, it don't make sense. Why would I sleep on a swim bed or fight this boy from Louisiana that got a couple followers on TikTok or something that want to do his big one over a, a king size bed or over a room? I could go home. Like, I could go home. I could go chill. I could probably go to Mastro's, like, real quick. You know, get me a little drink. Come back upstairs. Call my homegirls. Like, what y'all want to do tonight? Like, why would I do that? For what? To be pop, like, to be popping, I'm already, like, to me, I've been popping before I was popping, like, on YouTube. And in a sense of, like, you know, like, I'm me and I know what I offer to people and I know that I'm a great person and, you know, I think I'm funny, I'm charismatic. Like, I don't need to, that I don't need no kind of validation. So it's like, why would I sit there and, like, get jumped by a bunch of boys or something like that, like, just to be, like, seen on a network? It just don't make sense to me. But at the same time, it's like, it's a great opportunity. You don't know what you can get from it. Ba 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 So, I don't know. If we talk and it's right, it's right. But, um, that's how I feel about that. Like, because my mouth is very reckless and I can already tell, like, when I start reading and I really start reading you your rights, like, you gonna want to fight me. Like, you, your friend, your homegirl, all of them, they gonna want to fight me. Like, I don't care to fight. Like, I will fight you, but I don't care to fight. Like, I can read you, like, but you going to want to fight. I already know. My mouth is too crazy. Like, it's too crazy. I hurt feelings. Like, for real, for real. So, I don't know. If they see in this, though, put me on there because... What's up? Let's just talk. Let's just talk the right numbers. <laughs> How is your mental health right now? What do you? What are your coping mechanisms? Honestly, my dog. Like, honestly, my dog. Like, as annoying as he is, for real, he really is annoying. Um, Million has become my little like emotional support animal, for real, for real. Um, I don't know in what ways though. It's so funny because I can say that confidently, but I don't know in what ways that I can identify how. But I just know, like, having him there, like, you see shit like this, like, him barking like this, like, it's really blowing my eyes. But, looking over my shoulder and knowing that he's there is kind of comforting, I guess. I think I'm okay mentally. I just think I need to learn how to be alone, and, I, and I'm kind of, like, forcing myself to do that right now. Like, I feel like when I came out here to L.A., I kind of looked for the friends that I had out here and kind of, like, depended on them for... I don't want to say happiness, but just like things to do, or just like they I looked for, looked to them for a coping mechanism. Yo, I know they not that ass vacuuming right now. Of course they vacuuming. Like, why wouldn't they be vacuuming when I'm recording? I feel like when I first came to LA, I felt very lonely because LA is the only city that when you know people, like if you know people. You don't write them to hang out. Like, you, it, that's like taboo. Like, you don't be like, hey, babe, what you doing today? Unless y'all like, man, 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 cool. But if you know people out here, you don't do that. You run into them at events. It's so weird and it's so egotistical, but that's really how it is out here. And, you know, I'm good. Like I said, I don't need to be a part of no click or no movement to move. Like... When I when I bust through, I bust through. Everybody knows, like, it's me. Like, you know, like, no cocky shit, but I'm just saying, like, you know, in L.A., 
it's very clicky, which I, everybody, I think people will say that about every city, but in LA for sure. And I feel like when I first came out here, you know, I had to really learn how to be like alone, 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 which I'm used to in a sense, but this is like a different beast. And I don't really know how to explain it too well, but yeah, I'm just learning how to like be alone and kind of force myself to be uncomfortable and live my day day by day and yeah that's it that's it you know a lot of people out here got relationships like i don't have a relationship that i'm like with my man 24 7 or which i've never really been like that anyway but like with my man 24 7 or i don't have a a friend friend group that i could always go to events with or know what's going on or partying all the time i don't have that like you know so I feel like I'm doing a lot of work on myself by being out here alone and navigating through life and, you know, just figuring out a lot about myself. I think I'll, I'll thank myself later, like in my 30s, I'll thank myself later that I took this time out to really figure out myself out here. In New York, I was very comfortable, but I was so unsatisfied. I'm like, what am I doing in New York? Like, I'm going to Babylon every day. I'm going to Pergola every day. Like, I'm going to fucking Hell's Kitchen every day. Like, where else was I going OD? All the hookah spots I was going, I was going to say less. Like, it's just like, what am I doing? Like, it's the same thing over and over and over again. I need something new. Now that I'm here and it's something new, it's like, all right, I'm in an uncomfortable situation. So... I know I'm uncomfortable, but I know it's gonna pay off. Relationship status and no big chases. We need tea. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, like it is, it is like vague though, because you know, like I'm not like I don't have like I don't know how to explain it. It's just very complicated. Am I? Hmm. How do I? How should I say it? Because. I'm not in like an exclusive relationship. No, I'm not. I'm not in an exclusive relationship. Like me and my man and this and that, no. But am I, am I happy? Yeah, that, yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Like, like Ari said, in between jobs. She in between jobs. Do you see yourself living in Cali permanently? No. No, 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 I don't. I mean, unless things change and unless, like, things with my career go better. Because I feel like LA is very career-based. And my career being a YouTuber was non-existent for the last year. So, if things with my YouTube career go well and, like, my social media presence goes well, I can see me staying here. But if not no not really because it's like then why am i here that's what everybody is worried about out here it's like i would go to a party it was one time y'all i had to leave this party because i just felt so like not insecure but like i was the only one turning up like i'm like like you know like just like that's why i love new york and i love miami too like and nobody cares who you are or what you do but i'm the only one turning up at everybody like this and i'm thinking to myself like Damn, is everybody judging me? Like, do I look like the ghetto one right here, right now? Like, which I don't give a fuck about, which I'll do. But it's very, like, why would I be here then? Like, you know, if I feel like that, why would I be here? Like, LA is very much everybody on the wall looking, 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 looking for a come up. Like, very corny, very whack. I don't need a come up. I am the come up. Do I have a sugar daddy? Oh, my God. Like... Like, what? Let's keep it above. Why weren't you at Fashion Week? Let me tell you something. I, unless I become this multi-millionaire rapper that I want to be, that's another thing. I want to start getting in the booth and rapping because I really feel like I got real shit to say, like, for real. That's another story, though. Let me not bombard y'all with a bunch of shit. But, um, Fashion Week to me is just so... I've done it for so long. I did it every year since, like... I don't even remember, 2015, 2016, like, or t maybe 2017, I don't even know. It's like, so exhausting for me. I mean, I don't live in New York. I used to though, like, go, yo, it was so stressful, like, from show to show, to different outfits, to different outfits, doing it all by myself. Like, taking a train to this show, taking a train to that show, to then this after party, like, blah, 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 blah. And again, it, it's like a little taste of LA, um, which is why I'm used to it out here, kind of, sort of, but just like the, 
Even though New York Fashion Week is a vibe though, I had fun. I did. Ha I used to have mad fun. Like, I'm just exhausted with it. And I don't live in New York, so maybe if I lived in New York and I became the successful rapper, <laughs> I'll be popping out at the Fashion Weeks. You know what it is? I think for me, I don't have a team of people to do things for me. Everything that I've done in my career, I've done myself. So maybe if I get a team, maybe that's the right answer. If I get a team that it will be organized and set and I'll have like itineraries and stuff like that set down then yeah I'll, I'll do fashion week again or if I'm in the city like I have brands that I still work with and whenever I'm in the city like last year or one of the years before I saw stuff I was not doing fashion week and then you know a couple brands was hosting events so I just went you know shit like that what are some of my goals for 2023 um my YouTube, honestly getting back on my YouTube channel and really being consistent and really taking my YouTube serious because I see y'all comments all the time, Justin, you could have been so much bigger than what you are right now if you would have stood consistent. And I really do wish that was the case. But like I said, like, I have this bad habit of not being able to work through things um, when I don't feel like it or when I'm like not in the right mental space. And I really need to learn how to break free of like, okay, you feel uncomfortable, your mental health is down, but you have to do this. And I never really saw out, I never really looked at YouTube as the outlet that a lot of people look at it as, as far as like clout and what clout could do for you. Like, you know, I came on YouTube having fun, talking shit, and really having a genuine connection with my supporters, like for real. Like, not because I wanted money or because I wanted to be the girl or none of that. Like, for real, for real, because I really wanted to talk. And I like to talk and I like to hear people's opinions and I like to have debates and stuff like that. So, I never really looked at YouTube as, I guess, as the way that I should have. Um, so, when it came to like, you know, me. Like, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I was trapping a little bit, like, you know, and I'm gonna let y'all decipher what that means, but, you know, I was trapping a little bit, and that's why I was focused on, like, bitch, I'm not about to be sitting here acting like a clown for likes. I don't need no likes, bitch. I need, like, $100,000. Like, I don't need 100,000 likes. I don't need 100,000 subscribers, even though I love all y'all. I have, like, 200, but I love all y'all, but what I'm saying is, like, I was in a mode where, like, from my teen to getting an adult, like, I'm like, the fuck I need to be liked for like and I seen how corny bitches was acting for cameras and for YouTube it's like mm -mm, that's not my vibe like I almost beat a boy up because he was trying to do too much on my time on YouTube so you know it's just it's just it was just it was like bad taste in my mouth but I'm past all that that's old Justin Justin has realized the time that he has wasted trapping and you know basically wasting his time on things that weren't really investments in himself and i think i'm in a space where i'm realizing that now and now i'm back to like focusing on that what really holds you back from being consistent on youtube you could be bigger this is a very loaded question when i first and this is like you know some tea for y'all when i first started youtube um my parents was not happy about it i was living in my mom's house i had left school well i graduated high school and then i was supposed to go to college i didn't um to do youtube because i got so popping off youtube and when i tell y'all like i was terrorized all my life like that was also another level of terrorism that i experienced from my parents like just very basically like i would i would be recording a video like this and like my father would come in and like tear my set down and be like, you're not doing this in here. You go rent a fucking studio. Mind you, I'm still working at H&M. Like, you know, I don't have money, money. Like, you know, and it will be times that I recorded the same video. Like, I'm not going to lie y'all, like five, six times because my dad will be loud on purpose to like interrupt my um, videos or like, um... Like, growing up, I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't allowed to have the Wi-Fi password to my house. Like, everybody was allowed to have the Wi-Fi password. My brother, my dad, my mom. I was just the only one that wasn't allowed to have the Wi-Fi password in my house. And, you know, it's because I guess it was my dad's Wi-Fi. And he, me and my dad don't like each other. So, it's like, it's that on that. But, um... You know, that's another form of just being terrorized. Like, you know, so I would have to, like, 
go to Starbucks after I recorded to, e to edit the video and upload it. And then it will be times that like the Starbucks Wi-Fi was so slow that, you know, it will be like, and I know I, I, I seem inconsistent to y'all, but it's like, you know, um, I'll be like, oh my god, I'm so excited to upload this video today, and I'll get there, and the video is just stuck. And then I can't go back home, because the Starbucks is going to close, so if I go back home, I can't upload it. Like, because I don't have no Wi-Fi, and I have to wait till tomorrow or the next day. Or, like, if I wanted to re-record a video, and I've recorded a whole video like this, and then, like, um... I tried to edit it and there was something wrong, like my lips was chapped or something like that. And I had to re-record, like I would have to wait like two days because my father was going to be home for the next two days or, or or something was happening in my house that I couldn't record. Like basically what I'm saying is just like I never had the support that certain YouTubers have. Like I feel like now, now that YouTube has become a thing of monetary, like, like people see the monetary value in YouTube now. Well, my parents do. I think it would have been a little different, but back then when I was just doing YouTube and it was like me fucking, I mean, Jeffree Star, Patrick Star, Emmanuel and UA, all of those, those were like bigger YouTubers. But when it came to like, no, people weren't YouTubers that making money off YouTube. Like that wasn't a thing. I was one of the ones though, one of the lucky ones that, you know, was able to build a platform. But my parents didn't see that. They thought I was just being a bum, making videos, talking shit on my on my channel. Um, and that's really where I get my humbleness from. So if y'all ever ask like why I am the way I am and why I'm I, I think very socially aware and just very conscious of things going on around me and with myself, I I got my parents to think. It's a gift and a curse, but um Definitely, like, my parents would read me before anybody on the internet could read me. That's why I feel like I have such a tough skin when it comes to, like, comments or letting shit slide. Like, I don't really care because I've heard it all first. Like, and I've been through it all. So, um, I would say that was from the time I was living in my house. And then when I moved to Miami, um, I feel like, I don't, honestly, I don't really know what it was with Miami. I think... I think from Miami and, a, and the year before Miami is when I like was kind of trapped in a little bit and that was what my focus was on but I was still doing like my YouTube stuff here and there and then this past year I was just like outside like I was in the streets outside I wasn't worried about YouTube I was worried about the next trip I was taking I was worried about like why well, my first class seat this then and the third like you know what I'm saying like just bird I was just a bird uh it's so embarrassing to say on camera on YouTube because it's just like, just that you really, it, sometimes I, it made me feel like a bum in a way. Like you really stopped your career to be like, to be like an Instagram thought. Well, not Instagram thought, but you get what I'm saying? Like just a thought. Like I don't want to say thought because 99.9% .9 of these 12 boys can't fuck me. But I'm just saying like, you really gave up something good for yourself to like, to be on vacation and to do this and to do that and to do all stuff that don't matter like that's what you did and it's just like it's very embarrassing to say on youtube but i've been through a lot okay and i felt like last year i really deserved all the things of the things like i was like fuck that like i yeah i am taking this vacation and yup and i don't care if he if he got his you know whatever he got going on like Ugh, it's just so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. But, um, yeah, we, we healing. Okay, we healing on this side. Have you had any conversations with your BBL? I do not have a BBL for the millionth time. I have lipo. And I have... I mean, I think I could be honest about this. Like, I, have, I have shots. I have shots and I have light bulbs. Now, I feel like I should do a video about the shots, but I don't really want to. But I will say this about shots. Y'all, do y'all research. When I say do your research about shots, I don't mean go on Google. I mean, it's so hard to do your research on, research on shots because it's like if you don't know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody and you're not in that circle, you're not really going to know. Like... I know some people who do shots that I wouldn't go to, but that's because I know of the girls and the 
the the tea with it, you know, and it, it was a lot, it was years of research of trying to find out, you know, and just like word of mouth type things. Now, there's this one person that I would definitely go to, amazing, healthy, like, uses the most, the, the most healthier, I would say the healthier and the safest um, type of shot. There's some girls that don't and just do what they do and don't know what they're doing and then there's people that do know what they're doing and that's the research I mean so I'll let y'all decide for that however y'all want but you know it's just like it's not about Google because Google's gonna tell you obviously the worst you think you got a headache they tell you you got brain cancer so it's like you know it's about knowing the type of substance you have in you what it is you know what type it is like like the one i got like i could go out the country and get it done legally in a hospital like they, they it's it's just illegal in the u.s but i can go to another country and get a get it a legal procedure done in a hospital like doctors will do it everything like it's just like i just don't trust out the country i mean i say that and i got shots but um yeah, so that's that on that. But like I said, I'm getting lipo again with Dr. Shakorian, and I'm excited. Why did you want a puppy? Because honestly, I was moving into like my high rise in LA, and it was a little vain. I'm not gonna lie. Like I wanted my little like designer dog. Did not want a Frenchie. Oh my god. First of all, nothing against Frenchies. Some of them are cute. My friend Tilly has a Frenchie, so cute. But people get it just because everybody got it and it's a trend to have and honestly they're not the most attractive dogs to me i don't want to say dogs are ugly because i really love dogs every kind of dog but they're ugly to me like a little bit like a little bit like obviously they're cute <laughs> but they're a little ugly million i had to go and fly to a fucking farm i vlogged it if y'all want to see the vlog but i had to go to fly to a farm and pick him up in ohio it was crazy it was like cornfields and everything. And I picked up my little dog and I took him to LA. And yeah, that's kind of why I got a dog. Like I was like, I'm gonna be here by myself and I want a dog, but they do not tell you this about having a puppy. It is the worst, like the worst. He was peeing everywhere. Like my fucking house smells like a zoo. Like damn, I wasn't even here for like a week. And my house was thinking, I'm like, oh my God, like, so, but my maids come in every, like, I try to have them come in once a month, but they've been coming in, like, twice a month because I've been a little lazy. So, that's all the questions I'm answering. This video might be long or it might be short. I don't know, depending on how I edit it and what I want to put in or not. Um, but I'm really excited to be back. The next video is probably going to be a vlog or a story time, to be honest. Because I got to tell y'all. I got to tell y'all mad stuff that's been going on. Like, mad stuff that's been going on. But... I hope you enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to keep on making videos. And I love y'all so much. I really, really do want to say thank y'all for watching me and being still subscribed to me. If y'all ever unfollowed me, y'all can keep it like that. And I'm being a little shady, yes, because it's like, you know, people don't give people, I mean, which I guess is rightfully so, but people don't give people they, they space to, like, grow or, like, come back. Like, you know, like, I feel like I lost mad Instagram followers. Like, but that, I mean... If I'm not posting, why would you follow me? I get it. But I really appreciate the ones that stood down. And those are really my real supporters for real. And I just cannot wait to start this journey again with y'all. And I'm so excited. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all like this video. And I'll catch y'all on my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.